So we started exploring it early on, and we almost abandoned it. <laughs> really? <laughs> because we dug in, and especially at the time, I think we weren't versed in SQLite. There's mm -hmm. some defaults in the SQLite database mm -hmm. that are suited for its historical purpose that isn't so well suited for web applications. One of, one of its great strengths is its great weakness. It's extremely backwards compatible and the defaults are kind of bad now. So yeah. Yes. At least they're not suited for multi-user web mm -hmm. software. Um, that uh, wall is not turned on mm -hmm. by default and there's a handful of other things you got to turn on by default. So first we had to find what those things were. And that's what's so interesting about what's going on with SQLite. The, a general awareness of what's required to use that database for the kind of stuff we're using it for is just spreading like wildfire. Like mm -hmm. literally one year ago, I was trying to figure things out, like how do we do this? There wasn't that much information about that specific use case. And now there's so much more information.